Hi YouTube, this is uh, Lester Chua 73 and uh, as you know I recently serviced my uh, Omega Speedmaster uh, Moon Face and uh, to my delight uh, Omega returned some parts to me and I thought that I would do a review of this uh, lever and little bridge with a wheel on it, I think it's for the uh, vertical coupling of the uh, chronograph mechanism and uh, upon closer inspection I realized that uh, it's quite decently made so I thought I'll just do a quick review of it um, if you take a good look at the uh, bridge itself you will notice that it is uh, chamfered and polished as you can see as I turn it around you can see that it is chamfered and polished and the uh, jewel hole that is uh, bearing the wheel above is uh, chamfered and polished as well I'm not sure if you can see it as I turn it around and uh, you, you, if you look at the uh, lever itself you can see that it is brilliantly chamfered as well as uh, polished as I turn it, it catches the light but uh, the little hole in the center over there it is not it is not chamfered and the uh, screw hole at the bottom of the bridge over there it is not chamfered but the screw itself is uh, highly polished so it is quite beautiful let me put a back background black background maybe you can see more clearly yes that's right you can see that the screw itself is highly polished and the lever is given a, a, a grain satin grain finish that is very well executed and it contrasts very well with the rest of the movement and uh, if you if I turn the uh, to the back of the lever you will see that yeah as per most mid price watches it is not finished at all but it is very evenly cut without any scratches or rough cuttings so it is very well made for the price I think and the uh, wheel itself is given a circular grain polish so when you spin it around you can see the shine so this is my little quick review of the uh, one of the uh, chronograph coupling levers and uh, wheels for the Speedmaster manual winding so that's all YouTube. Thank you for watching. Ciao.